Hi, guess what we're doing today? We're gonna to compare the Rancho Silvio with the Breville Infuser. Why are we doing it? Because people ask us to do these things. Hi, it's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear. So, we're gonna talk about the different features on these machines. The Breville Infuser is a 50, four millimeter stainless steel portafilter and this machine comes with your pressurized and your non-pressurized baskets so you're going to get four baskets double on a single pressurized double on a single non-pressurized comes with a tamper right here that's magnetic up in there that you can actually tamp your coffee power on you can program these for volume single and a double and it's just an icon you can program it for whatever you want Hot water, if you want to get hot water out of this machine, comes out right here and you turn this to the back. If you turn it to the front, you get steam out of the traditional steam arm. This is a steam arm that does not Panarel, traditional, so you have to get your technique down pat. Stainless steel clad casing with a metal top on it. You're going to get hot uh, cup warmer up here from the ambient heat from the uh, thermal coil boiler. And what is a thermal coil boiler? It's a blob of aluminum that has a bunch of channels like this in a spiral going down through it that are stainless steel lined, by the way. And you, the water goes through there and it heats as it's going through. It, they found that to be a more stable process than the old boilers that they used to have. On this side, it is a thermal block, heats the steam on the fly. So you hear that boom, boom, boom. What else has it got? Water tank right back here, and that is a 61 ounce water tank. Pretty good size, drip tray, and back in here, which it didn't catch, should have. Nah, should have. I didn't have it in there properly, probably. Here's where your goodies sit. See, that's your pressurized basket. This is a non pressurized basket. Comes with a razor, which you can top off the top of your basket too much coffee, it will scrape it to a certain level, and then you dump it. So that's kind of nice. Scoop the goodies. Both these machines are going to have the three-way solenoid valve, which takes off the moisture after you brew, sends it down into the drip tray so that you have a nicer, firmer puck. Knocks right out. This one has a gauge on the front. This tells you whether the grind of the coffee is right. If you get up into this gray zone, your grind is probably right. If it's down too low, it's too coarse, take your grinder, make it a little finer. Up here, too fine, make it a little bit coarser. And your shots will taste different too when you get it right. This machine comes with what they call PID. I call it, it's not exactly a PID like this one here that you can ask to brew at 203. If you ask it to do that, you're gonna be brewing at 203 every time. It's more of a temperature control on the boiler that allows it to stay within four degrees versus a machine like this without the PID can have as much as a 10 or 15 degree as it kicks in, kicks out, kicks in, kicks out, a big wave. This is gonna keep it a little bit closer in temperature, hence your shots will be a little bit better. It's not a true PID, but it's a lot better than most uh, single boiler machines don't have any temperature control device like this at all. So that's a step up. Over here, we have 98 ounces of water right back here. And this comes out for cleaning as well. It's a big water tank. One hose is the intake for the boiler. The other one is back pressure discharge goes back from the uh, boiler into the water tank. Your lid right there. Also, this is your on off button. This is your brew button. Water dispensing, you get water out of here and steam. We have this up to steam right now. This is a 58 millimeter full-size professional portafilter. Chrome-plated brass, stainless steel baskets, non-pressurized baskets. You have to get the grind right on this machine or else it's not going to work well at all. Uh, this controls your steam. Right now we have it up to steam temperature, which means the PID is not in control of the temperature. It's up at the highest point. If we were to take the steam button off, it will now cool down. We can make it cool down by producing water out of here. And now you would go back to your brewing. What do you get for the PID with this? You can control it within one degree of whatever you ask it. It will keep it there. 
You can control the, the time of the pre-infusion, time of the wait in between pre-infusion and brew, and then the time that it brews. And it shuts off automatically. So that's kind of nice. Stainless steel casing all around. This is really a heavy machine because this is solid steel versus the clad. Drip tray, that's one of the cons on this machine. A little bit of a small drip tray. No baffles. I've spilled it on myself many times. So that's the two machines. We like them. Let me show you the steaming on this machine. It's going to take a bit. It's got to warm up. So this is going to be a little bit slower, or actually it's a lot slower than this one uh, because it's a thermal block. Uh, it, so it's just going to produce the seam slower. But if you're a newbie, it's actually good because it gives you more time to get the hang of it. Hone your skills. Here, that thermal block. This thing, this is a steaming machine. I'm not even gonna pull this down because there's no milk in there or anything like that. It produces a lot of steam. I think you get the idea without me really showing you a whole effect of that. You could hear it. You can see the steam coming out of the frothing pitcher. So there's a difference in price between these. This PID does not come with this machine. So you're looking at a couple of hundred dollars difference. If you did not have the PID, about a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars difference between these two machines. Why would you pick one over the other? I would pick this one if I was a newer to the espresso world and I wanted to use the pressurized baskets and all, I would pick this one and then you can work your way up into the non-pressurized. This is uh, the next step up, not for the faint of heart, but once you get the technique on this, this is an excellent machine. It's been around for many years. Ranchilio uses a lot of the same components in this machine that they use in their commercial machines. Big brass boiler in there. It's like this. So small thermal coil, bigger brass boiler, both good machines, just different. Traditional steam arm here. I guess those are the reasons I would pick one over the other or vice versa. Hope you liked the video. If you did, subscribe. Also give us some thumbs up. And go to the webpage. Check out the dedicated videos that we've done. And the stats are listed there too on these machines. There'll be a video that's dedicated just to this machine and just to this machine. Every machine has one. So check it out. Mm -hmm.